Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video, we'll show you how you can play NES old Nintendo Entertainment System games using next gen emulator on a deck station. And your friend can join the gameplay with you uh, if he's got his Android phone. To download this emulator, that's all you need to do is you need to go to uh, Play Store. So let's search for Play Store. All good, all fine. Open up and you just search for next gen space NES. And one of the first ones will be this one. So next gen NES emulator, no ads, it's free. No ads, is brilliant. It works fine with my controller. This is Xbox One controller, works amazing with that. And in this video, like I said, I will show it to you how your friend can use his Android phone. This is Note 4. How you can use this um, Android phone to play the games with you. So I already have a game um, emulator and download installed. So I'm just going to open up. As soon as you open up first time, it's going to scan entire phone storage, internal and external. Um, external, what I mean by saying external, SD card. So it's going to scan internal and SD card and we'll find all the ROMs that is specific for NES um, gaming station. So as you can see, I have four games at the moment. So it's a Hudson's Adventure Island 3, Contra and Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 1 and 2. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers is probably one of my favorite uh, childhood games ever. So um, I'm gonna try that to play. So obviously um, this app runs perfectly in a window in the full screen mode. So let's start, but before I go, I'd like to point out if you go to a settings so go to a settings you need to click on these three dots and go to a settings make sure the Wi-Fi control is active or enabled this will allow your friend to use his Android phone to play the games with you and besides that I pretty much changed nothing else um, one more thing is I just checked how um, how's my settings are so I can see select is L1 and start is uh, start and all this good obviously select I cannot select the select button because Android and the Bluetooth controller sometimes don't want to really communicate that good so the back button on a Bluetooth controller is actually acting as a back button so you can map it because you press to map and it says please select uh, the select button but this is actually back button so if I press it it's access and I, so I decided to leave us L1 and another thing is if you're gonna try to map player two controllers using another controller that you connected to a deck station, it will override the player one settings. So two controls at the same time on a deck station is not working at the moment. So all fine and good, let's leave as it is. So what I'll do now, I'll start the game. So uh, let's reset. So right now, all well and good. So this game starts, I'm gonna grab my controller press start press start chip and dale that's fine let's find out where my sound gone so sounds here so start and i'm about to play the game using just a controller so all well and good as you can see uh ooh. go away Okay, no problem so far. So <clears throat> you're playing the game, but you want your friend to join you. So what he, your friend needs to do, obviously own an Android device, and he needs to go to Google Play Store and download the same emulator. So I am on a Google Play Store and I am downloading the same emulator. So I will open up. Your friend's phone and your next station must be connected to the same Wi-Fi for this to work. So um, what I'll do now on the second Android phone I'll tap on the top right hand corner the same place where the menu was so hold on let me show it to you here we are top right hand corner press on their menu and the top option it says remote controller you tap on this and it opens like a search window so what it does is searching for all 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 um, NES servers running on your home network so it's basically this phone this specific phone trying to find the deck station obviously sometimes it's going to take longer than you expect but as you can see 
it pops up on the screen so it says it's found my device so it says Samsung SM etc etc so right now when I tapped on it it's asking me this is a player 1, player 2, player 3 or player 4 so I'm gonna say this is a player 2 and now the screen changed to that kind of um, layout and it says this phone is represents player 2 so what I'll do now on a deck station I will reset the game so game starts okay and I'll select two players start so I have uh, my Xbox one controller and my Samsung Note 4 so jump jump as you can see they're both they're both working so jump and you and your friend can play the game with you so we're gonna grab the phone right now and do a bit of gaming with it as you can see uh, I'm playing the game on my deck station using Android device and this is a controller so let's grab each other okay and I died okay so if you have a game uh, you want to share with your friend so he can join the same game like co-op gameplay and you can play together at the NES games so right now I disconnected the phone just to see if it's gonna connect again and now what we're gonna do we're gonna go into Contra so okay let's reset the game and now Note 4 is trying to find the NES server again but what I would like to show it to you now, if it's actually don't want to find it, if it's not on the list, as you can see right now, it's popped up all fine, but if it's not on the list, you go to your Wi-Fi settings, and current network I'm connected right now to Mr. P Wi-Fi. If I click on it, it's telling me the IP address of a deck station. So it's 192.168.1.239. So right now, on the phone, I can tap select manual server, and punch in the same IP address as uh, done here I punch in the same IP address and I click connect <coughs> now I'm gonna select again this is at the player 2 so it's connected all well and good I press start on this press two players and start so note 4 running as a controller and Xbox one running as a controller so right now player 1 player 2 so player 2 all good player one jump so yes that's how you can play NES games on your deck station and your friend with Android device can join the gameplay and then you can both enjoy old style good old games of NES thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video bye bye